Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Geek With Glasses Live. Today we are going to be doing a product unboxing for you and taking a look at Dell's Aurora ALX gaming PC. So uh, as you can see, we've got quite a large box sitting over here. We've got two boxes. Let's actually go ahead and open up this smaller one first. And this should be the uh, headset that they uh, threw in with the purchase, and that's what it is. So <clears throat> what we got here is the Alienware Tactex headset, as you can see. I'll come in a little closer on this. It's uh, Alienware branded, nice thick um, foamed pads, nice little matte black finish to it. Um, let's take a look at what's actually inside the box here. Let's see what we've got. <clears throat> So we slide it out and uh, got a nice long cable. And looks like they're zip tied in, so we won't be getting it. Let's see real quick here if we can undo this. Okay, so here we go. Here's the uh, headset that comes with, uh, well, that they threw in for me. Um, so we got uh, Alienware black headset. Looks like it's got a uh, retractable mic, which is kind of cool. You can slide that in when you're not using it. Obviously in a nice long um, connector for your audio, both the audio and the mic. <coughs> Looks like there's a Y adapter in there built in, so that's kind of nice. And as you can see, it's kind of a, uh, a matte black finish, has the Alienware logo on it, nice padded faux leather here, and nice big thick padded uh, earphones for uh, keeping the volume down while I'm uh, playing my game. So these will actually replace my um, Klipsch Image Ones that I bought for gaming, obviously, since it's got a built-in mic, I'll no longer have to pull my, uh, my blue snowball over. So that'll be the headset that I use when I'm uh, doing some of my online gaming and communicating with other folks. So let's dive over here, <coughs> take a look at what we have in the box here. Open this up and see what we get. Which side of the box did we open? Mystery side. Looks like the actual CPU. So on the top here, nice big long accessory box, Alienware logo on it. I'll set this down, take a look at what we have in here. So on the inside of the box, we get a nice big Alienware mouse pad. Right here, that's a nice large size mouse pad. I like that. That'll definitely replace the mouse pad that I'm currently using. Looks like uh, screen wipes or um, something else is some type of a bag. Let's take a look and see what we got. This is actually, yep, it's a screen wipe. Alienware, alien branded. It's got like some alien markings on it. You're not gonna be able to really see that much on the uh, video. But that's a screen wipe or a system wipe. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Uh, let's see, got a mini DV um, to DVI adapter here for, or I'm sorry, HDMI to uh, mini HDMI adapter for video. Got the uh, system's power cord, which I won't be needing. Got the Tactex gaming mouse, which I'm really looking forward to using this. Um, I've never actually had a weighted mouse um, or gaming mouse. I don't do a lot of first person shooters online. I play them you know, kind of single stage. I'm not really a, an online kind of guy when it comes to first person shooters, but this will be nice to uh, give a look at. Here's the mouse, nice matte black finish, Alienware logo. Apparently this illuminates with some colors that you can control. Scroll pad, mouse buttons, buttons here, here. And the cord is actually kind of nice. It's a, uh, it's a braided cord. I'm not sure if the camera's, there we go, it's focusing. But it's actually a braided mouse cord. So that's kind of nice. Got some buttons on the bottom for profiling and stuff. Nice matte feel to it, good texture. Not gonna slip very much, very comfortable in the hand so far. So there's the mouse that comes with the, uh, the machine. I'll put that back in. Comes with an Alienware hat, that's cool. My, uh, my son will like that. I'm definitely not gonna be sporting a black hat in the summertime in Virginia, it's a little too hot for that, but my son will definitely take advantage of that. Looks like a uh, VGA to HDMI adapter, which I won't need. And some Alienware stickers, some kind of raised up thick Alienware stickers. Kind of cool. Got a couple of those, one there, one there. 
we have here this looks like a manual yeah here we go the alienware manual this is kind of nice this is leather bound an alienware head on it and pull this little protective class off so that's a nice looking gunmetal logo and then these are the instructions um, for the for the rig and looks like in the back here are my driver discs so there's an alienware auto resource disc, install disc, sound blaster disc, etc. So that's kind of cool, I like that. Kind of gives it some, some nice branding. Some, and I like that Alienware and the, the leather binding, that's pretty cool. So there's the manual for the machine. And we've got one more box in here. This box, no doubtedly, is going to be the keyboard. Again, this is the Tactex keyboard. So this is actually a uh, the driver disc it's a backlit um, customizable keyboard you can uh, set the colors up to be whatever you like to kind of match the chassis of the uh, cpu as well as the mouse so let's get this off i like this matte black very cool looking I'm gonna pull this off and bring this over so it's a nice matte black keyboard it's kind of bright in here with the, the light coming in, but uh, very nice soft touch feel to the keys. They're not clicky keys. All of these edges illuminate based on the color profile that you give it. You got media controls up here, mute button. Um, not sure exactly what this button does, but uh, we'll figure that out. And then some programmable macro keys with like alien writing on them. It's kind of cool. And again, some more of those macro keys on the bottom. So that's the Tactex Alienware keyboard that the machine comes with. Nice hefty, hefty, hefty feel to it. Uh, it's, it's got a good weight to it, so I doubt it's gonna go sliding around the desk. Two cords, I believe, two USB cords. One is obviously the interface and the other one is the power for the illumination. So that is the keyboard. Actually, just go ahead and set this over here. We're gonna put this up, and get it put together in just a few minutes. We'll close that out. Go ahead and drop this back in the box here and we'll close this actually i'm going to pull the mouse pad out set that aside so that's the accessory box and let's move this off to the side here real quick and get into the main unit so obviously some protective plastic and slide out the cpu all right let's pull this out that's not light. Okay. Put that in. And stick that. Close this up. And let's dive into this bad boy. So, all right, this is sealed up pretty good with some tape. Nice logo. Uh, you know what? This is gonna be a just like a commercialized machine. Pop that, pop that, and that. As you can see, the box has got some nice Alienware graphics on it, a little alien head there, and we'll slide this up. So it ships in a nice little scratch-proof um, piece of uh, material there. And there we have it. There is the Alienware Aurora ALX. So let's get this out of here. And again, it's not light. <laughs> it's actually heavier than my old machine. This is actually replacing my aging XPS 720 that I've had since 2004. I kept it up to date with a couple of graphics card add-ons and uh, bought this one to replace that. So let's pull the tape off and take a look at it real quick and hurry up with this uh, unboxing. I know it's annoying. It's getting long. Let's pull off the side plastics here. So this is the front of the machine. Um, we've got, we'll click the alien head to get into the media writer. All I did, is, this is a dedicated gaming machine for me. So I didn't, uh, you know, put the 15-1 reader, reader or the Blu-ray or anything. This is mainly just gaming. So I've just put the DVD player in there. Slide that up to close. Power button is up here on the top. Indicators for USB, uh, firewire, microphone, and headphones are right there. You just kind of slap that down, and they're actually here in the back behind the, uh, the vent. I'll show that to you a little bit later. 
So we turn the box on the side. Now this is all illumination, so all of these little creaks and cracks have illumination and colors that you can program with the desktop. And on the side, I'm breathing a little heavy. <clears throat> on the side here, we've got more coloring for lighting effects with some alien design. Both sides are the same. This has got the automated vents for if you're doing some extreme gaming and you need to cool the box, the vents will actually automatically open and it vents out the heat from the top, which I think is very smart design. And the back of the box. And so on the back of the box, we got power down at the bottom, nice big fan at the top, a lock if you need to lock it. Um, let's see what we have. We've got audio, um, fiber optic audio out if you're plugging it into a main stereo, Firewire 800. One, two, three, four USBs, five, six USBs, and an eSATA. And uh, my network card, my NIC. My GTX um, 590 graphics card, which has three HDMIs and a dis uh, display port. And then what we have down here two, what is this? I don't know what this is. That's not my network card. Network is up here. So I'm not sure what that peripheral is. Intel Core i7 inside, yes we know that. I don't know what this, this card is. It looks like additional USBs, but uh, might be something else. And then I've got the Sound Blaster um, Titanium XFi on there as well. So the configuration that I've got for this machine is Intel. It is an i7 overclocked at 3.36 uh, gigahertz. I've got 12 gigs of 1600 megahertz RAM. I've got dual, and let's see which side opens. I've got dual um, three, I'm sorry, dual, yeah, dual 300 gigabyte, 10,000 uh, 10, spin RPM hard drives, so it's running in a RAID zero. Uh, I thought it was just to flip up. Maybe it's locked, there we go. So flip this up to open the inside and look at the inside of the chassis. And it doesn't want to come out that easy. Is it up, forward, back? Maybe I should RTFM, right? I don't know which way it wants to slide to, uh, to come out. There we go, it looks like it's Okay, there we go. Well, that's kind of difficult. So we pop this open and uh, you'll see it automatically illuminates, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure if you can actually see that illumination, but that's the inside of the machine. Got some cool Alienware design here. I like the fact that they put the uh, power connector for all the lights on the door, so there's no cabling going to the door. So as you can see, we look in here, we've got the processor. This is a liquid cooled processor. Got the vent or the radiator in the back with the fan next to it, water piping to go to the CPU, Alienware logoing on there. Got my 12 gigs of RAM. It's beautiful inside. I love the inside of this computer. And uh, got the graphics card under here, which is direct feed from a fan. So it's a dual port graphics card. Got two bays for hard drives here, two hard drives currently in it, and then additional uh, you know space for additional CDs or, or Blu-ray players or whatnot. So that's a, that's a quick look. That's a quick unboxing, even though it wasn't that quick. That is my new Aurora ALX. This is my dedicated gaming machine. And uh, I will do some additional videos once I get this um, bad boy set up and working. It goes on much easier than it comes off. So that's a, a quick look at the ALX um, Aurora, and I'm going to go get it all plugged in, and we'll make some additional videos and talk a little bit more about the machine then. So thanks for watching. Join me at uh, Twitter, twitter.com slash geekwithglasses, Facebook, facebook.com slash geekwithglasses, and we'll see you in the next video shortly, hopefully taking a, excuse me, taking a quick look at the Aurora's performance. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.